Hey guys, it's Stacy with Misguided Road Trips, and tonight I am coming to you from my backyard yet again. Now, I want to apologize first and foremost because we did have plans to go to the Shadow Cemetery. In fact, it started off, Patty, Clay, and Heather were all going to come up, and we were going to go down there for Halloween. But as time got closer, things started coming up and happening, and it was just no way for everybody to get together with their schedules and work things out so that we could make it. So then I wasn't sure what I needed to do for Halloween. And um, I don't know if you saw the poll or not, but I asked on Twitter about the Shadow Cemetery or the Creeper Cemetery, or I think the last choice was don't care, just go. <clears throat> well, um, most of you that voted, voted for the Shadow Cemetery. Cliff and I were supposed to go there tonight. Unfortunately, plans fell through on that because some major problems happened at Cliff's job and he is still at work. So, um, I'm not brave enough to go to the Shadow Cemetery by myself on Halloween and I don't think y'all would want me out there by myself anyway. So, I figured since I had nobody to go film with and, um, have had a few things going on lately here at my house that I would just film out here. Um, a lot of y'all have watched the video where I got the new doll, but I have to tell you that I had noticed a few things before I got this doll. dark out here and y'all can't really see anything. But I came around to my back porch and right over here I thought I saw the apparition of a man in what looked like the apparition of a man in what looked like blue jeans and a white button-up long sleeve shirt but the sleeves were rolled up to like the elbows. I caught a glimpse with my eye right in there and all of a sudden all three of my dogs started barking. They were barking but they were wagging their tail and they took off in that direction. Now you can see right, let's see right there is one dog there is another dog so it is very dark out here you can't really see a whole lot I don't have my camera and my light hooked up I'm just sitting out here and I thought hey I got my phone let me film. I'm going to ask a few questions and see if I get any responses. So is there anybody out here who would like to talk to me? Can you say your name, please? My name is Stacy. You may already know that, but just in case you don't. Can I ask why you were here? Yeah, because 
barking up at her tail wagon. This is not a normal behavior for my animals at all. If you have a message for me, you can say it. My camera will pick it up. I'll be able to hear you. I can go back and listen to it. And then I will know what you said. And then I can give you my response after listening to it. I know it doesn't sound fair, but it's the best ability I have. Okay, I'm going to cut this off now and do this one. If you look grab my camera if you look right there in that window that is my kitchen and it's really weird because I'll be sitting out here sometimes and you actually can hear what sounds like my cabinet doors closing in there and um, but I haven't ever seen anything in the house I just hear that and in fact my daughter and son-in-law were over here one day not long ago and it happened we all thought Cliff was home. I walked inside to see and there was no sign of Cliff. Now I do have my house pretty heavily protected. I have not noticed anything going on in the house. Just that sound that sounds like it may be coming from in the house, but I'm not sure if it is or if it's something on the outside that may just be echoing off that way. I'm not sure. However, sit y'all back down for a minute I'll be more steady that way however there has been a few more noises going on in the last couple of days that I'm really that was me I hit my arm on the table but um there has been a few more noises but last night I was watching Mind Seed on YouTube and um, shout out to Mind Seed, they're a great channel. But I had made a comment because he was opening a Dibbit box, and I had made a comment about a box that I had received from one of my viewers back, God, it's been a while now. I made a video on it which contained a lot of weird things in it. Never have heard any more from anybody about that box. But I never brought the box into my house. I kept it out in the shed in my backyard because I did not know what might be attached to it or the meaning behind the box. Now, I have the box here because when I saw Mind Seed's video, it reminded me of my box. But right here is the box and you can see there's this is it the top of it and there's a scarf there's some we don't know if this is I think this is actually baby doll hair it doesn't feel if it's human hair it's got a lot of hairspray on it but there's a lot I shouldn't even be touching it but um there's several different things in here. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to go check that out because it'll go in more detail about what was in the box. Um, 
trying to get my screen up. Okay, so I also brought my doll out tonight again and kind of had me a little worrisome because I noticed that we received two EVPs on the last video with the doll that sounded like David. And he had a few choice words to say to me also in that video through the EVPs. So I don't know if David is attached to the DAW, if David is attached to the box, or if David may come from somewhere else. Now we did find out through a lot of you that the DAW's name is Priscilla. And Priscilla is supposed to have a bear and an umbrella, but she does not have those parts with her. And I do apologize to some of y'all. I got my sage burning. You can see the smoke going through. Uh, I do apologize to y'all. I thought that she had an emerald green dress on. But let me turn my light, bright light on. It's blue, and somebody had mentioned to me that they saw one in blue. So, it is a royal blue color. But yeah, she's, we can't find the exact number from her, but um, I still think she's pretty. But I have my, now you'll see, this goes off when I touch. These things are so weird, I can't figure them out. I've got one on each side just in case something is to come up near the box or if something comes near the doll, you know, my rim pods will go off. I also have my sage going. It's my blue sage. And guys, I got something new. This is my new pin light. It actually just sits and does the dots on the wall so that if any spirit was to walk through it, it would be able to manipulate those. Their shadows could come up. I've seen them, seen some of these actually move like one dot at the time straight up the wall. So, okay, so we got the lights set up. I'm kind of halfway into the camera, so if y'all see anything back there moving, please let me know. Now, I don't have my dogs out here tonight. I ended up um, leaving them inside. I am thinking about letting them out because that was really weird the other night how Roscoe acted. He does not normally bark. And I have noticed since I got this doll, every night he will come out and bark. Now, I can't say that it's paranormal because I don't see anything, so I don't know what he's seeing. I haven't spotted any animals. You know, it, it could be an animal. They have better senses than us, but I have not seen an animal. Now, I just thought that was really kind of weird that the night we um were at I thought I saw a shadow out there guys oh that's a car going by but I was looking to see if there was a looking to see if there was a break in the lights when it went by but it did it looked like a shadow there that puts much more light on the situation Just 
frogs, but I hear something else. Is there anyone here? If there's anyone out here with us, can you please manipulate these lights or walk through them and possibly show yourself to us through these lights? I know that you can do it because I've seen other spirits do it. Are you shy? All you have to do is just stand in it, walk past it. I don't know that they want to walk through that. And I don't know if these rim pods even work. They have not lit up at all, so I'm not sure about those. I'm hoping they got good reviews on them, but maybe there's just no spirits around. Can you at least speak to me? I thought I saw something, but I think it was just the smoke blowing from the incense. I was watching it in my... Yeah, I think it was just the smoke. I wonder if I should put those out so that... Extinguish them so that they don't blow the smoke there. Oh my god, guys, look. Look, look, look. My bird cage is moving. Who did that? There is nothing that should be making this move. There is nothing underneath it. And nothing else is blowing. There is no wind out here tonight. Thank you for doing that for us. That's amazing. Now I know that if you can do that, you can also make these lights blink or flash or... Maybe they don't like the lights. It's still moving a little bit, not a lot.
Okay. If there's anyone out here who wishes to talk to me, you can speak into this box. I'd like to hear from you. Find out your attachment. Can you tell me? Can you tell me your name? My name's Stacy. Can you say my name? Can you tell me how many of you are out here?
will definitely take care of all of it. The box with all the items in it. And the doll. I know that if you're attached to it, that you must have loved some of this stuff, whichever one it is, a lot. to say goodbye just because that always amazes me oh guys I'm so sorry that I couldn't make it out to the cemetery tonight and do a proper investigation I really was looking forward to it but um I just I don't have what it takes to go out there by myself um Hallow's Eve uh, the veil said it's thinnest they say that's when spirits are the most active and I have no idea what I'm dealing with out there in that cemetery, so I just don't feel like it would have been a safe choice for me. That's not to say we won't be going. We probably, hopefully, will be able probably, to hopefully will be able to get out there sometime this week in the next few days. Um, you know, I'm sure Cliff could be home and doing that rather than work. I'm sure if Cliff could be at home rather than working, he would rather be home or out there having fun. Now, I know he felt pretty bad about it when he called me. He told me how sorry he was, but, you know, that's our main income, so he can't really tell his boss, sorry, I gotta go shoot a YouTube video. Thank you for the Halloween cards that I've received. Y'all are such a great group of people, and I love to call y'all my friends. I appreciate everything y'all do for me, and um, hopefully y'all aren't too disappointed. There is something moving over there, but it's way, let's see if I can zoom it in, it's across the pond. That is weird. I don't know. I don't see it. It's gone now. Oh, I hope I caught that on video. It's gone. It was like a white figure.
and it was standing about right in there. But it's gone now. If y'all seen anything, let me know, because that was weird. Just, I'm telling y'all, something just don't feel right about out here tonight. Hasn't felt right. Hasn't felt right for a while, but it seems like since I got the dog, it has gotten worse. Maybe it's just my imagination. I'm not sure, but there's been stranger noises. My dog barks all the time now, where it never barked. The last three nights, it has barked like crazy out here. And it's not just Roscoe. I had three dogs, and they all three come out here and get in the corner of my yard over here, right in here, and they bark like they're seeing something, but there's never anything there. I come out with the flashlight and look, and I don't ever see anything. I definitely hope I haven't bit off more than I can chew with this doll. And she may not even be haunted, I don't know. It could have been the box I received in the mail because like I said, some things were happening before I got the doll. But it does seem like that the last several nights there's been more going on. Ever since I got her out the car and brought her in to do the first video with her. Okay, guys. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it wasn't the Shadow Cemetery. But we will get back out there to investigate more. And we are going to be taking off on a road trip next month where we're going to be see some cool places so i will have some great content coming out for y'all hoping to go film at the crescent hotel in arkansas not sure if i can get it booked yet but i'm hoping to so but we do have a big road trip planned in just a few weeks so hopefully we can get some great videos out that y'all will enjoy and i hope you like this one um it was easy to do being at home and not having to worry about going anywhere by myself so i appreciate you watching if you liked it hit that likes button if you haven't already please subscribe and i will catch you on the next road trip much love guys bye Guys, well that concludes this video. Sorry we didn't know to the Shadow Cemetery, but I hope you enjoyed this video. We will get back out there and I'm sure we'll have cut all that shit out. I'm so tired. <laughs> Alright guys, have a great day and I'll see you on the next road trip. Much love. Bye. <laughs>